lovely. How are you? Alright. So you're not doing too good. Okay. I'm Nurse Nicola. I'm one of the nurses here in the emergency department. I will be assessing you and taking care of you today. Is that alright? Good. I can see that you're in a lot of pain. Is that right? Okay. Well, what I will need to do first is just check you in on the system. Okay. I know that you came in via an ambulance and the paramedics did pass some details to reception, but I just need to get you up if that's okay. Alright. Can I just take your full name please? Thank you. And your date of birth? Do you know your NHS number? Alright, don't worry. Can I take your postcode? Ah, I found you. Just going to have a quick look through your notes, okay? Just to see what the paramedics said. All oh, right, okay. So you're in a lot of pain in your tummy and your lower back. Is that right? Okay. How long has that been going on for? Okay, so possibly some aches for a few days. And, okay, so the rest come on quite sudden. And I believe that you've been experiencing some nausea. Is that right? Have you been sick at all? Okay, that's good. And you're showing signs of fever. Shivers. Yeah. High temperature. All right. Has anything triggered that, do you think? Okay, not what you know of. All right, that's fine, don't worry. Okay. I know it might be a little bit difficult for you to speak. Just take your time. All right, we'll go at your pace. Everything's fine. I will just need to get a bigger picture of what's going on before I do an examination. All right. So please just try your best to answer the questions and just tell me. All right. Okay. Okay. So, got back pain. Nausea but no vomiting. Okay. Signs of a fever. So shivering and chills. Okay. High temp. Yep. Okay. And you see fatigue. Quite weak. Yeah, you do appear that. So. Have you experienced any diarrhea at all? Okay, that's good. Have you had a loss of appetite or? Okay, so slight loss of appetite, okay. And how long has that been? Okay, so so this has all just come on suddenly and you've just been getting all the symptoms. Yeah, that makes sense. Have you managed to go to the toilet okay today for a pee and 
questo So, the bells are working okay by the sounds of it, but tell me what's going on with your hearing. Right, okay. So you've got pain passing hearing. Yep. Do you find that you are needing to pee more often? Okay. And you say the shooting pain? Whereabouts? Okay. Have you experienced that for a while? On and off. Alright. Do you ever suffer with bladder infections? Not that you're aware of. Alright. Have you experienced this before then? You haven't. Okay. When you pass urine, do you find it has a funny smell? Is it strange colour? Any blood? Okay, so... Uh, must be slightly smelly, but you haven't really thought much of that. Okay, so that's been quite a while. Okay, so a good few weeks. And you say, I'm not sure about blood in the urine, but maybe it's slightly discoloured, is that right? Okay, don't worry. Do you ever feel like you've got a burning sensation? Sudden urge for the toilet? Alright. Um... chance of you being pregnant. Right. Good. So, it sounds like you may have a bladder infection and that could be why you're feeling like this. From what you've said, it sounds like you could have been suffering this for some time. And that being so, it may have developed into a kidney infection. Okay, do you have any history of kidney infections in the family or with yourself? Okay, so no history of kidney infections, kidney stones and no urine infections. Okay, that you know of. All right. You say only nausea, but you haven't been able to eat. Okay. If you have tried to eat, have you felt like you're going to be sick or was you sick? Okay, so a couple of times when you tried to eat. Okay, so you have sort of been experiencing a little bit of vomiting, but only when you've eaten. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry. Right, first things first, I will need you to get me a urine sample. Okay, so what I will do, I will just take you over there to the toilet and we can sort that out. Alright. Are you alright there? Good. 
So I'm just going to check the urine. All right. So you say you had a little bit of discomfort passing urine. All right. Is it often this colour? Okay. Just seeing if I can see any bits or anything in there. Possibly a little bit there, actually. So it is quite cloudy. You say it sometimes can be a little bit more cloudy than that. Okay. Right, let me test it. Just wait for that to develop, okay? It's alright, we'll get you sorted. Okay, my love. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, you're in the right place and you're in safe hands, okay? Good. So if you can just show me on your tummy where the pain is. Okay. Right. I'm just there or Okay. That's fine. I'll examine your tummy in a little while. Okay. Right, let me have a look. Okay. Showing leukocytes quite high and protein in the urine. pH slightly off. It's a little bit high on that one as well. Hmm. Okay. So it appears that you do have a water infection, as suspected, okay, which is a bladder infection. But I am a little bit concerned because your levels are quite elevated. Alright, so some of the things that are showing up are a little bit of a concern for me. Okay, but please try not to panic. I need you to stay as calm as possible. Alright. 
you're in completely safe hands, alright? So no need to worry. Okay. What I need to do is carry out an in-depth examination. I need to take some bloods and some swabs and different things like that. I am a little bit concerned with what's going on and it appears you are dehydrated. Yeah, and that can cause all sorts of different problems. Have you heard of sepsis? I am a little bit concerned that that may be starting. All right, not necessarily. I just like to be thorough. So I'm going to test all that for you, don't worry. But it's fine, because if it is something like that, it's very early. So we are to treat it for you, no problem. Okay, good. Let me just jot that on the system, and then we can carry on. All right. Please help yourself to some drink. If you could try to take a few sips for me, that would be really good. I want to see if you can keep that down. Do you feel like you need to be sick? If you can please use this. All right. Pop it there for me. It's okay. The ball's there. All right. And some tissue for you. Okay. All right. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm going to check your temperature now. Okay, that's quite high. I'm just going to check your pulse and your oxygen levels. So if I could just take this finger. Okay, just relax for me. Your oxygen level is fine, but your pulse is very fast. Okay, do you feel like you've got flutters, heart palpitations, or anything like that? Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Now, because of that, I would like to have a listen to your chest, if that's okay. Comes a little bit of a shock sometimes, it's cold. Okay, it's fine. Right. Okay, if you can just go top there for me. Okay. Normal breathing.
just sounds nice and clear. Your heart is going very fast though. I'm going to leave that there if I can have your wrist. I'm just going to do the impulse. So your heart is fairly fast, all right? It's working extra hard to do its job, but with everything, that's pretty normal. Okay, all right. I'm going to check your blood pressure now. Take this on and just relax it on there for me. Sit comfortable, keep nice and still for me. It's going to go tight. pressure slightly raised but again with your heart working extra hard that is quite common okay good I've got to get my light now and have a look in your eyes you can see it's fairly bright if you do your best to keep your eyes open for me and just look at my nose or behind me Okay. Yeah? Bright? Okay. Oh, a bit bloodshot. Very pale the water line.
I get you to look up with your eyes for me, thank you. You do really well. Okay, back at me. Get to look that way. to look here for me. Yeah. looking there okay, going to cover one eye feel a little bit dizzy. Alright, don't worry. Nearly done with the eyes. Good, well done. Just going to get my otoscope, right? And this is just going to have a little look in your ears. Okay. Here we go. Nice and clear too. Okay, now let's change. I'm just going to have a little look at your nose. So tilt slightly. It's 
sniff for me. Okay, relax, that looks fine. Can you open wide? Thank you. Tilt back a little bit more, thank you. Say it uh -huh. We can just pull your lip down. Let's look at your gums. Hmm. Can you lift your top lip? Yeah, definitely dehydrated. You can pop your tongue out for me. Yeah, that's really quite a lot. I'm just going to pop my depressor in on your tongue. Say, ah. Oh. Okay, that's good. Relax. Are you okay? As well as you can be. Yeah. Okay, so... So your mouth looks fine in general, so it's your throat. It's just your gums and your tongue, okay? Do you have any allergies at all? And are you on any medication? Okay. I want to check your reflexes, okay? So just sit nice for me and flop your arm there, thank you. Mm. This side.
okay a bit of a slow reaction but I'm not sure obviously how your reflexes normally are all right get to look here you can tell me when you can see my fingers but keep looking at my nose Tell me when you can't see them anymore. Good, look here. Look at my nose. How many fingers am I holding up? Okay, if I can get you to just do this action with your hands, but like so. Okay. I'm going to just take some blood, okay? Just feel that. Do you have a better side or? more pumping and then if you can hold just a fist for me in both of them as best as you can all right I know it's all right that's it okay you just take some deep breaths for me and if you can just hold a fist just going to get myself an apron. All right. Hello, lovely. Okay, feeling a bit better. Okay, I just have a little check again. This one's better, just relax that arm. I'm just going to put one of these toy cases on. That's fine. 
shoot me that. Don't worry, just look at the back wall. Look at this beautiful painting. Just nice sprites, okay. you to pop your arm on there for me just there that's it Some more pumps for me. Relax your arm on there for me. Okay. Sharp scratch. Keep still for me. That's it. Nicely done. Good. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Wonderful. You can relax.
Okay. How are you feeling? All right. Good. So what I'm going to do is take these down to the lab. All right. And I'm also going to take the urine sample with me as well. So I can see if there's anything else going on. Okay, my lovely. Please just sit here, take it easy, try to have a drink. Oh, yes, if you can. All right. Yeah, I'll be in and out, don't worry. Okay, everything will be fine. And then once I get the results, we can see where to go from there. All right. I'll see you in a little while. Hello, lovely. I'm back. How are you? Okay. I believe Stacy was coming in and out, keeping an eye on you when I was down there. I managed to get them pushed through as an urgent, okay? So I do have your results here. So it appears that you had cystitis that was left untreated. Yeah. It appears that that's possibly been going on for some time and it has caused a kidney infection. So the bacteria from your bladder has gone up into your kidneys. Okay, they are wondering if you may have kidney stones, but I'm not 100% on that. They have suggested that you have a CT scan just to check your kidneys to see if you've got any stones. So what happens is the waste products in your blood crystallize and then they go into your kidneys and get harder and harder and then they turn into what we call stones. Now usually we can pass them out, but if they're a large size, then we would have to remove them. Yeah, but to be honest, I don't think it's that. I think it's just a quite a severe kidney infection. Now, I spoke to Dr. Louisa and she actually said to me that she doesn't think it's kidney stones, but she would like you to go for a scan anyway, just to be on the safe side. And she also said that she would like you to stay in. Oh, I know. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. All right. Calm down. Calm down. It's all right. It's okay. It's fine, honestly. Shh, 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 shh. Think it's going to be okay. Yeah. All right. I know. But we need to keep you in on observation. And you are severely dehydrated and we need to pop you on fluids. Now I need to pop you on fluids to hydrate you. I also need to get some antibiotics and pain relief into you as soon as possible. The best way to do that is via the bloodstream because it will work more instantly. Okay. Yeah, that's right. I will give you a couple of paracetamol in a moment. And if you can try to swallow those for me, I know it might be a little bit difficult, but if you could try, that'd be really good. I'll just tie you over a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, now the doctors gave me permission, I can give you those paracetamol. I would have to get an anti-inflammatory into your bloodstream as well, so there's going to be quite a few into there. Yeah. Okay. I know it's not the news that you wanted, but everything's going to be okay. I will ring up the ward and see who's on, okay, and Sue so will be taking care of you through the night. Yeah, so a CT scan will be needed, but I will let the ward know and they will arrange that for you. Okay, we'll make sure that gets done. If we can't get you there this evening, because it is coming quite late, it will be first thing in the morning. All right, I will pop a note on the system so that will go straight upstairs as well. You we will be in Ward 6. They are a lovely team up there, I assure you. The nurses are lovely and the doctors that do operate on there are great too. All right, lovely staff. Yeah, it's very nice cosy ward actually. Yeah, we do try to keep our hospital quite relaxing as much as possible. 
Yeah, we do. It's very important that we carry out a very similar vibe throughout our hospital to relax you. All right. You look like you're in a lot of pain and discomfort. I would like to get you onto the ward as soon as possible so you can have a nice rest. Yeah. Okay. I will have to just admit you first, if that's all right. Okay. So... If I could just feel around your pelvic region as well, I'm going to tell you in a moment. So, calcium is slightly raised as well. Okay. Uh, and the infection, it's possibly bordering on sepsis, but as you're not feeling too bad, I think it's okay. Yeah, I think once we get the antibiotics in to treat the infection, that should nip that in the bud. All right, that's why you've sort of been feeling really woozy and feeling sicky and feverish. But the kidney infection can do that. All right, but it's a good thing that you come in today so we can treat it. All right, so... CT scan, virgin, Just raise your top for me. Doctors ask me to make sure I have a feel of your tongue. deeper. Alright, it's it hurt there. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, you're doing really well. Okay, I'm just going to go down. pull your trousers slightly down. I'm just going to feel the top of the pelvic area. very tender, isn't it, and swollen. Okay. I'm just going to feel around your kidney area. Really tender to touch. Okay. All right, pull your top down. Well done, lovely. definitely can tell that it's really a lot of information there so we'll need to get that down okay So, in here, I have some paracetamol. If you could just take those for me, but try as much as you can. All right. Make sure you've got your bowl just in case. Okay. 
All right, calm down. Can't manage. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, you've tried. And that's all that matters. Yeah? All right, I'll take them back from you. All right. Well done for trying. Right, I'm going to get you admitted now. Oh, I'm hoping I can see on the system actually who's on without me having to ring them. a few stuff on. So we have Haley, that's Nurse Haley. We have Nurse Peter. We have Barbara, that's Nurse Barbara. Danielle's on as well. And the doctor on that shift is Dr. Stokes. All right, he's lovely. So they're on the night shift. The nurse that will be taking care of you is. I'm just waiting for that to ping me. Let me know who you've been allocated. All right. Okay, so let me just get to the band. Danielle. She's lovely. Very nice. Perfect.
any preference on arm? Which arm do you write with? Okay. This one then. Confirm your full name for me and your date of birth. Any allergies? Perfect, thank you very much. Right, that is my job complete. All right, you are very welcome. Okay, now get yourself down to the ward shortly. I'll get the porter to come and wheel you up. All right, you won't be waiting too long, they're already on the case. All right, you're very welcome, honestly. I won't need to get you better. All right, and the staff up on Ward 6 will do what they need to do. Okay, you take care now. Bye-bye.